So if you're looking for ideas of items to find at thrift stores and sell for great profit on eBay, this is the video for you. Every item in this video I found at either the Goodwill bins or a local thrift store paying maybe 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, and they've all sold for $50 or more. That's right, $50 or more each of these sales. So check out the items, stick them in your memory bank, and when you see them in the thrift stores, you can make yourself some good money. Okay, the first couple items I'm gonna call honorable mentions because they do have comps over 50. I just happen to accept an offer just below 50, but they're definitely worth being on the list. First one up is a Campari vintage ashtray. Campari is like an old Italian vintage liquor, and these ashtrays sell for good money. I did sell one a few years ago for like $55. This one, I took an offer of $44 and it sold in two days. Another one that I'm gonna put on the honorable mention, because again, it had comps over 50, I took an offer of $48. This was an Epcot, it was the Spaceship Earth form of a coffee mug, and I found that a local thrift for $3, sold for $48 plus $10 shipping, and this sold within a couple of days. Okay, here we have a pair of vintage or roller skates. Um, some sell for good money. I have sold some for almost $100. These I had listed for 60 something, almost 70. And I took an offer of $50 plus $12 shipping. And these took a couple of weeks to sell. All right, some sporting goods can be worth a lot of money. This was a Worth Toxic 98. It was a slow pitch softball bat. Paid $5 for this at a local thrift store. It sold for $55 plus $10 shipping, and this took about three weeks to a month to sell. All right, some vintage military boots are good bolo. This was a pair of military, they're called jump boots, and I found these at a local thrift store for $5, sold for $74.75 plus 12 shipping, and these sold in two weeks. Another pair of boots here, the brand is called Browning, make shotguns and other type of weapons, and these were also vintage, they were made in USA, sold for $75 plus 10 shipping, and these sold in one week. Some electronics, I had no idea what this was, sold it at the Goodwill bins, it was in mint condition. When you see something interesting, always look it up. I looked it up, it had great comps, charged me $5 for it at the bins, it sold within a week and a half for $85 plus 15 shipping. And it's called Niles Audio, that is the brand. Back to sporting goods. This was a brand new golf bag at a local thrift. I paid up for this. I paid $25 for it because I knew it would sell. And it even had the original box with it. So shipping was going to be effortless. So always take that in consideration in your profit margins when you buy something. This sold for $114.75 and this sold in two weeks. Okay, a great brand to look for in shoes and boots is Doc Martens. This pair I found at the Goodwill bins. I couldn't believe it. They were in mint condition, very long shaft, brown leather. Picked them up, paid by weight, it was probably like four to five dollars. They sold for $120 on Poshmark. They did take about three months to sell, but well worth the wait on that type of profit margin. And one thing you should always do when you go into thrift stores, don't be scared or think that it's gonna to be too high priced to check things that are in the glass cases or under the front counter glass case because sometimes thrift stores don't really know and they think something's valuable or they underprice it and they put them things in there and sometimes you're gonna find some good items. And one thing that I always look for in there are vintage swatch watches. Some of them sell for really good money. And one day I found one and that was this. This was called the Bunny Sutra, kind of like after the Kama Sutra. And if you look at the picture, it has like all sex positions of the different bunnies on the, the face of the watch. So I comped it when I saw it and I was really surprised at the numbers. I paid $15 for this. It did take, well, I had it, I held on to it really. I didn't list it for almost a year. I was gonna hold it because when I did buy it, there was about 15 to 20 active at the time. And then recently I checked again and there was only like three active listings. So I put mine up and it sold within a week for $180. So 15 into 180, vintage swatch watches. 
All right, so I hope you learned something in this video. Remember these items, and if you see them, you can make some good profit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.